learn and understand what can happen. What, what, how can we continue to improve safety and where is this industry going to go? And so um, at, at this stage of the game, uh, if we can find a way to nearly entirely eliminate preventable accidents, which this technology can do that. And I'm not talking about take a driver out. I'm talking about there's technology today that, that may be very close to being commercialized that could eliminate preventable accidents. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. This stage of the game, uh, if we can find a way to nearly entirely eliminate preventable accidents. In this leak orientation where they actually talk about autonomous trucks, where they have no plans to replace drivers with autonomous trucks. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Where people were kind of freaking out, thinking that you were trying to replace our driving associates with these self-automated trucks. So that couldn't be farther from the truth. We we view it in a few different ways. Safety is a huge priority in our company. We look at safety as one of the most important things that we could possibly do. That along with production, those two together stand at the top of the mountain. And safety is huge, not only from a cost perspective for us, but for the overall safety of the families that have a mother or a father that are driving on the road as, as a truck driver or just as a motorist. And we know that the roads can get incredibly dangerous. So safety is a huge focus. We look at this as something that will not replace our drivers because that's never going to happen. I don't. I don't foresee ever where there's nobody ever in the truck. Just like I don't ever foresee with an airplane where there's never a pilot in that cockpit flying the truck. Now when they get out there, he's not doing anything. He's probably kicking back, sleeping while the plane flies itself. But he's always there to land, to take off. Anytime, any if there is anything that goes wrong, they can take over the controls. It's the same kind of concept when it comes to the autonomous trucks. We're looking at ways to better the life of our driving associates to help keep them safer, to improve their quality of life when driving, and different opportunities where, hey, if it's a straight highway shot and that thing can drive itself, then maybe, maybe there's room for a driver to be able to lay down in the back and rest while they're going straight down I-10 or wherever they might be. So we don't view it as a replacement. We view it as an enhancement to your overall driving experience. And, you know, we're still, I think we're still a little bit away before we start really seeing um, that technology hit on the road. And part of that reason is the cost effectiveness. You're talking about charging these things. They got to be able to go a certain distance to be profitable, hauling a load. And right now, as they tend to head up hills hauling however much weight's behind it, those batteries drain quicker. Yeah. So there's a lot of things they're working on and we want to be there to partner with these companies to help them um, invest in that in that technology and innovation. But um, if any of you are worried about it, replacing jobs, don't be. I, they just don't ever see that happening, at least not in the next, uh, probably not in my lifetime or yours, um, just from a, from a safety perspective. You got to figure, these things can drive a straight line when it's time to get off and we're going with city traffic. It's just a lot. That's a, that's a totally different beast. Or when you're backing those things up, I mean, I don't know. It's We need people at the wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I want to add to that that, you know, Knight Swift um, joined that partnership um, with the whole purpose of the view from the driver. So how can we make sure that our driver is taken care of? And so just know that if, if Night Swift is in, involved in anything that you hear, first come and ask us, and we'll, I mean, we're an open book. We'll be 100% up, up front and honest with you and transparent as we can be. But just know that if we're involved, it's because we're coming at it from the driver's side. We're always there to protect the driver. Great point. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So what do you guys think? What's your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I know a lot of you guys are talking 
about the future and the future of trucking, which is now becoming a reality. More and more autonomous trucks are coming. It's, in, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's, it's something that we are gonna have to get used to. It's like old school truckers have to get used to automatic trucks. Us modern truck drivers as well as old school drivers is gonna have to get used to autonomous trucks on the road. Starting with Knight Swift, as you heard in their in their leaked orientation about them getting autonomous trucks. But my thing is this though. We know that the mother trucker went down to Knight Swift to have a good conversation with the CEO about the partnership with autonomous truck company, Embark, if I'm not mistaken. The CEO posed the question and he said this stage of the game uh, if we can find a way to nearly entirely eliminate preventable accidents right there about safety is there a way to prevent preventable accidents and he feels that autonomous trucks are a way for that to happen but drivers what do you guys actually think suppose the system goes down then what but another thing too that i like to that i like to bring to your attention is that in the orientation the guy was saying hey you know we might want to give our drivers a little break while they're going down that stretch of highway you know let them go in the back and actually rest <sighs> is that safe though is that preventable now what if he is in the back of the bunk taking the rest maybe 5 to 15 minutes and the truck malfunctions runs into a uh uh get gets into an accident no matter what type of accident it is who's that for who's that for is it the driver that was resting in the back at fault or is it the autonomous truck with no driver behind the wheel who's that for and again let me ask you guys are you comfortable with being in the back of the truck while the truck is kind of driving by itself? Also, also, I got I got questions. I, I got questions. I, I need answers. I mean, I me personally, I I wouldn't I, I wouldn't mind giving autonomous trucks a try. But is that more of a distraction that the driver don't need lockout what do you mean well listen listen to what i'm saying hold on let's just listen to what i'm saying is that more of of a distraction that the driver don't need now we already got problems with drivers with the phones watching videos listening to radios but now we got a driver that's literally not holding on to the wheel at all he can go to sleep behind the wheel and we always talk about how dangerous it is for drivers to to get fatigued behind the wheel but is this much more easier i don't know i don't know just it, it's a lot of questions that needs to be answered it's a new technology that still is being worked on. So drivers, what's your thoughts? Leave it in the comments below.
I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, who went pop. Death to the hit, it won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got pops. Urge red and Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. I don't make a masterpiece, it's for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pump, pump. Yellow fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.